All right, folks, welcome to your first algebra review video here on Yak Math Videos for the 2018-2019 school year. We have in-house sponsors today of Cliff Bar. Nothing fuels a good run like a Cliff Bar. Tazo Zen Tea and Laura Bar in the house. All right, we also are proud to have Litchfield sponsors of Coffee Espresso. Chinatown nationwide sponsor of Ruby Tuesday. Folks, this is in your game plan. These are some hints. Page three, this whole video is just going to be game plan hints. So watch it and get some answers, get some help. On page three here, I just wanted to do number seven with you. We might have done that in one of the classes. Don't know, but uh, there is the result. Plug everything in, plug it in, plug it in, Glade style. Nothing kills the scent of a freshman quite like Glade. All right, they are another proud sponsor. Um, number nine here, folks, plug everything in. Pretty good results. Do simplify if you can. Those are some answers there on page three. On page four, I wanted to help you with 14. That's really just straight multiplication. Negative four times four, that's 16, and one half of eight, that's four. That's how I multiply those, or got those two numbers, which I again multiply. Just gotta be careful on 15, guys. Gotta do the division after you do the multiplication here. Then you have to do the, the division. Okay. And then we add 36. 16, negative 4 plus 8. Then cube that. Negative times a negative is a positive. You get 88, the year Mr. Yak was born. All right, 17. 72 is 9 times 8. One half of that is 36. 48 is in the denominator. 36 over 48 is 3 fourths. So I left this answer as 4 and 3 fourths. All right, so that's some page 4 help. Now, folks, we are going to move on and... Here is some help for what we're going to learn on Monday and Tuesday. As we'll learn, the additive inverse is just the opposite, and the multiplicative inverse is just the reciprocal. All right. Helping you out here with the fractions. We're going to call it two and a quarter and do the snowball. I think you guys learned in elementary school. Additive inverse is negative nine fourths. Multiplicative inverse is four over 11. Combine like terms, negative 11x plus 22y. Got to uh, use distribution, okay? And then combine like terms, no big deal in number 10. Again, wanna see all this work, make sure you have all this work, you wanna have full credit. Make sure also to combine like terms, like I forgot to do there. Also a negative times a negative gives you a positive 4y. And that's our answer for 12 on page eight. Then here on page nine, just a little bit more, uh, one half of 20 and one half of 10 should be easy to find. Okay, then combine like terms, we got that. Three fourths, so here's what I would do. You could either do 40 divided by four and get 10 and multiply it by three, or you could do three times 40, which is 120, and divide it by four. No matter what, you get 30. Same thing here, three fourths of 12 is nine. Two thirds, two times 15 is 30, divided by three is the 10. 2 times 21 is 42, divided by 3 is 14. Combine like terms. All right, 5 times 24 is 120, divided by 3 is 40. 5 times 15 is 75, divided by 3 is 25. And we're rolling. All right, on the review homework on page 10, just uh, first outer inner last. 2x and x, that arrow means multiplication, that is 2x squared, as you learned in algebra 1. 2x times 2 is 4x, 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 2 is 6, combine the middle terms. All right, number 6 here, no big deal, combine the middle terms. You guys get some help on these. And then you have conjugates, so the middle term cancels, difference of two perfect squares, x squared minus 25. All right, moving on a little bit to the last section, which is solving equations. On page 14 here, Number four, uh, move the five x over and then subtract 31. Divide by six, you get negative seven. You gotta be good at solving equations. If we're not good at solving equations, it's gonna be a rough go of it this first semester. Negative times a negative is a positive. Combine like terms, that is six x minus 18. Add the 18 over. Divide, you get 13 over two or six and a half. Gave you some help here on seven. Got 10x and 8x. Yogi in the background is making some noise. I think he saw somebody outside. Then add 20x to both sides. 
Get a decimal or a fraction there. Then on 9, distribute. Then take that 4x and 6x, add them up. 10 and 9, add them up, then subtract. Divide both sides by 10, 5.7 is a decent answer. Before we talk about the bonus question here, let's look at number 12. Um, distributes, let's see, 20x is definitely bigger than 2x, so add 2x over. Then add 44, divide by 22, there we go. And I wanna give you help on 16, if I wanna solve for y, I'm gonna first add three to both sides, then multiply both sides by four, then subtract x. Folks, will be a special prize on Friday for the people that have this down, so don't spread this, your answer. Don't, uh, don't tell too many people because the more people that get it right, be small the prize. Who won the 1989 World Series? Put your answer at the top of this very last page, which is page 15. All right, folks, this is your first video for Algebra 2. This is Yak Math Video signing out.